All right, so I'm removing the aluminum trim around the window that all the molding hooks up to and then the headliner wraps around, which is this here. So um, there are these little clips like this. And what you have to do is you get a real sharp pick tool and pry them off and look how you're doing so that you want to make sure that when you pull them out that you pull up on this part here because these push down and then lock that and then lock it in place. So I've got two out so far. One, two. And I'll show you how to do this one here. So what you do is you, you want to don't get way underneath it. You want there's two pieces, two layers there. You want to get on that top layer and slowly pry it out. And there's do one side at a time. And you're slowly just pulling that locking part out. And there it out. And then when you put it back in, you're not destroying it. And you put it back in and you just hammer, push down and hammer down on that and it should lock it back in place. So do one more and get your pick, my sharp pick and get that top layer out so come out like that it's slow pressed up just pops right out where'd it go right there all right so i'm going to continue to get the rest off and go from there. All right, so we got them all off. So we've got one, two, three, four, five for the long trim top. So that should just literally just come right off. Um, of course, it's all hooked on by the old <coughs> headliner, which I ripped off. And the reason why I'm taking this off is to look for rust in the window. Um, and to clean these up too as well. So you've got these these clips here for the headliner that looks like it locks into, uh, and then to clean these up. These are there's a little rusty, so I need to get these cleaned up. So I will continue and remove these other panels here, and then check out the rust um, from the inside, and it looks really good. And then we'll take the window out. Uh, and um, and go from there and see how that looks. So this one off has uh, three three pins to it, and then this other one here has three pins to it as well. Um, I had some trouble getting two off, so um, I used some bent needleless pliers. Once you once you get it open like that then all you need to do is get those needles pliers and stick them in there and that way you're grabbing on like that and done <laughs>